What's going on, guys? We are back with another RNG recruit interview. We have got a very special 2025 linebacker who's flying under the radar, in my opinion. He is about to have a major season. He Honestly, he's playing around some very, very good talent. He's played around some good talent that's already moved on to the college level as well. But he's also playing around some great talent this year as well. I'm happy to bring him on right now to introduce himself. Uh, how you doing? My name is Hector Chavez, class of 2025, uh, Christopher Col Columbus High School linebacker. And, yeah. Hector, thanks for taking the time to jump on here and let fans get a little more familiar with you. Appreciate it. Of course, of course. So, man, you know, this off season, you know, uh, kind of what's been your focus, Hector? Where, where have you wanted to improve your game, you know, to kind of take it to that next level? Uh, Really... I've been working on the things I struggled with last year. Uh, I think I pre I did pretty good with everything else, and I wanted to get better at what I did good and better at what I couldn't do good. So going into the next season, it could be I could have good uh, package, different techniques. Uh, I kind of been working on being a leader, stepping up. Uh, I'm getting. Uh, yeah, just helping my boys get better. That's kind of it. So part of a part of this season is you kind of uh, learning your leadership and growing into a leader. It sounds like. Yes, sir. That's great, man. That that's great, especially with being a twenty twenty five. So that'll prepare you for your senior season. Yes, sir. So did you uh, hit up any camps this off season? Uh, no, I really didn't have like the time to. Uh, mm -hmm. I had a few that I was invited to, but I couldn't make it due to a couple of like, circumstances, but. Understandable. Was, yeah. Um, any chance, since you didn't do any camps, did you get a chance to do any visits at all? Uh, I visit University of Miami back in like, uh, I wanna say end of June. Uh -huh. uh, that's, that's about it. Were you working with any trainers this off season? Uh, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. And have you had any focus in the weight room this off season? Yeah, I I was getting told a lot that I was small for a linebacker, and not that I took it as a bad way. I kind of used it as an advantage, but I yeah. also wanted to get bigger in the weight room, so I just took the weight room serious. Uh, I hit the weight room a lot, and I got bigger in my size. Well, man, you're very athletic, and you're from sideline to sideline. So if you've added power, I mean, that's that's going to be fun to watch, man. I'll tell you that. Of course. Of course. So, so man, you know, recruiting, you know, how, how how's it going for you? Have you enjoyed this process so far? Uh, I've been real patient, enjoying it, uh, kind of staying laid back, humble. Uh, I've talked to a few college coaches, uh, and I'm just ready for the, I'm just appreciative for the opportunity to talk to coaches, to be recruited, to be noticed. And that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, speaking of the colleges, who's been showing you love? <laughs> I want to say university of Miami. Uh, I feel like Syracuse, I like Georgia State, uh, talked to a few other coaches, but, you know, I ain't got no offer from them yet, but we've been staying in contact a little bit, and hopefully this season I do good, and I get the, get an offer from them schools. And Did, get you get an offer? Did you get an offer from Miami? Yeah, yeah. That was actually my first offer. And did you get that from Coach Cristobal himself? Yeah, I got that from Coach Cristobal. So. Oh, man. That's pretty cool, man. What was that experience like? Uh, it was good. It was actually, like, crazy because I just, like, had a good game the day before. And then the next day, I get a call from Coach Cristobal. It was, like, I always been, like, a, a Canes fan. I had family members that played uh, Denzel Perryman. Sean Spence, and I just, I grew up as a Kane fan, so it felt good. And my, uh, Cristobal is a Columbus guy. He graduated from Columbus. So it was all like, it was it was a enjoyable moment, you know? 
it sounded like he was really impressed with how you played against uh, Bobby and Robbie Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boys. <laughs> man, th those two, man, those boys can fly right there. I'll tell you what. Them boys are a beast for sure. For sure. Some beast so, right man, there. you're bringing up Sean Spence and Denzel Perryman. You actually have a special relationship with these guys. Um, what What's your relationship to Sean Spence? Oh, uh, that's my cousin from my mom's side. Uh, okay. Uh, what about Denzel? Denzel? That's my stepdad's brother. So I talk to him whenever I can. You know, they got like, he be real busy with the training camp and working out and, you know, doing a lot. So whenever I can, I talk to him, get a little bit of advice from him. And yeah. So when you do get the chance, uh, you do you do talk to both of them? Uh, I don't I don't really talk to Spence, Sean Spence uh, like that, but whenever I see him or something, I'll talk to him then, but yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. So last season, how did things go for Columbus? Uh, pretty good. Uh, we yeah. had, we, we worked hard the off season to start. We always told each other we win games in January and June. So from then we worked hard and it kind of paid off during the season. Uh, we motivated each other, pushed each other. That kind of like helped us to, like you go to high school games, see a lot of teams like falling off because they, you know, they, it's not going any way with us. We stay uh, humble, hard, push each other, and thrive to the end. And then, as you can see, we won states, and it, keep, it, it came down to the last, and we had each other back, and that's what brothers do. So uh, that's kind of what's going on. It was a good little season. Yeah, you guys put together a great season there, man. Do you remember the stats that you put up last year? Uh yeah, I had I remember my tackles. I had a hundred and three to a hundred and two tackles. I think it was like seventy some solo tackles and like fifty some. I think if I'm not mistaken, fifty some assists. That's impressive, man. Very impressive. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Do you have any goals for this upcoming season? You know, any numbers that you want to reach? You know, as far as tackles or anything like that. Oh uh, yeah, I kind of last year I had 103. This year I'm going for at least 115 plus. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this year is mainly like just getting better. Uh, you know, helping my teammates get better, pushing each other. So if I don't accomplish my goal, you know, I just want to at least be like have a good feeling that my the people around me got better. You know, so that's kind of it. That's a great way to look at it, man. You know, I mean, you know, even though that we can all set personal goals for things, sometimes things change, you know, yeah. but that doesn't mean that yeah. another door doesn't open and an opportunity, even a better opportunity arises. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Hector, do you play any other sports? Uh, Not anymore. I play baseball. I stopped playing baseball after my freshman year. Okay. I kind of okay. I kind of wanted to focus on football and uh that's kind of what's going on. I got you. I got you. So what do you feel, Hector, are your biggest strengths on the field right now as a linebacker? Say it again. What do you feel your biggest strengths are right now on the field as a linebacker? Uh I don't even know to be honest. I don't know. I'll tell you, man, you're athletic and you're a really good tackler. I'll tell you that. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And you said that you worked on getting bigger and adding more muscle. So, I mean, adding yeah. that onto that, dude, I mean, that you are a humble guy. I can tell you're definitely humble. And I appreciate that. And I really admire that. I just, uh, I want fans to know that you are also a, a humble beast. Yeah, most of uh, I work hard and it, it shows on the field, it pays off. Uh, I don't really talk too much, but I kind of like let my game show. So see me on the field, hit somebody, they going, you know, you're going to remember me for sure. I don't doubt that one bit, man. I saw some licks that you laid on folks. Uh, and they, yeah. <laughs> they they remembered it. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, kind of curious here in, in practice, 
Do you have a favorite drill? Uh, uh, I want to say, yeah, it's a drill we got from a college. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Notre Dame. It's like a drill they do with like middle backs, outside backs. It don't really matter. Uh, with pulling guard. So I think that's kind of like for a linebacker that's in the box. I think that's a beautiful drill for the run. Yeah. Uh, being able to like recognize the pulls and the mm-hmm. weight, like the the blocks, the zones, and all that. I think that's perfect. It helps you cheat during the game. Yeah. Um, and I just that's probably my favorite drill right now, the pulling guards. That's a fantastic drill, man. That that I mean, especially as a linebacker, that helps you out a lot learning all oh, that. Yeah, most def. Most, most def. definitely, man. So to flip it a whole one eighty. What do you think the toughest drill is that you go through? We got a lot of those. I think the <laughs> toughest drills, I think, honestly, is probably play, play action. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the hardest drill because you never know if, if it's a run or a pass. So it's kind of like, yep. you know, guessing, not guessing, but like, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to read a little bit. But that's probably the hardest drill, but it. If you practice that a lot, get a lot of reps, mental reps, in the game, it'll come so easy. And I think that's, like, the perfect drill, too. But that drill is definitely the hardest drill for sure. That's a great drill for linebackers, man. You you start to figure that drill out, man. You start to understand a lot of what's going on even before it happens. Yeah, most stuff. Most stuff for sure. So, Hector, man, what gets you most excited on game day? You know, is it pregame? Is it a, a a big play? What gets you really excited? Uh, just I want to say in the morning, waking up, knowing that I'm yep. gonna go play against somebody. I always had a goal of uh mentally getting myself prepared in the morning. That's probably like the best part. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also like pregame, pregame for sure. Um. The adrenaline is is perfect, like for the moment. And as soon as the ball snap, the clock start running. It just, you know, everything you practice, you practice, just gotta like let it out in the game. So I say, pregame for sure. But my my favorite part is in the morning, waking up and getting myself mentally prepared for a battle. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I love sir. that answer, man. I love it. Do you have any pregame rituals? You know, is it just music kind of getting in the zone? Oh, uh, I, I kind of like self motivate myself. Okay. You know, I, I I have like high standards for myself, so I make goals for myself. Maybe one game is probably eight tackles. Maybe this game two sacks. Maybe this game an interception. Okay. So in my head, I'm just boosting myself for like I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And, Whatever you know, I, I I make it happen, you know. Yeah. So. I, got you. I got you. So, who are some of your favorite players? You know, I mean, they can be college, NFL. You know, guys that you like to look up to. Maybe steal a little bit of their game to add to your game. Uh, I for sure. Wait, uh, I for sure like Ray Lewis. Oh yeah. You know the physical, uh, smart linebacker. Uh, I like Luke Keekley. He was a linebacker that cheated a lot, and I think as a linebacker, it helps knowing, yep. like watching film and knowing what's gonna happen before the play even happen. Most times that comes from watching film. I like Luke Keekley. I use that too. Uh, uh, I got a lot. I'm trying to pick my favorites. You watch uh, any Bobby Wagner? Oh, I love Bobby Wagner for sure. Yeah. I was I gonna say that Wagner. that's one to watch right there, bro. That, yeah. That's that's one. That's a smart, smart line. Like, yeah, I like that line. I like Denzel for sure. Oh yeah, under under side linebacker, but real physical. Yep. I like yep. that. That's kind of how I see myself. Uh, yeah, that's about it right there. Yeah, that, co- that covers a good amount of a uh, really good linebackers. I'll tell you what. Almost yeah. So Hector, man, if you had to describe your game. To somebody who has never seen your film, how would you describe your game to them? Uh, I'm a, I'm a dog, real physical, 
smart, uh, uh, hungry for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, see out there, he probably, probably like the hardest worker out there. Got to, gotta be the hardest worker. Uh, a leader. Man, nah. that's about it right there. That's about it right there. Sounds good to me, man. I got three words for you, and I want to know what they mean to you. Let's do it. Miami Hurricanes football. What do those three <laughs> words mean to you? Man, fun, paradise, it's mm -hmm. hard work, you know. Uh, not a lot of people could play there, you yep. know. You got to be a dog for sure, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, it's no place like home for, for, for sure, for sure. I love that answer, man. No place like home. I love it. What the? Man, at this point in the interview, what I like to do is I like to give the recruit a chance to show some love to people who have helped him out along the way. You know, uh, family, coaches, you know, teammates, whoever you want to show some love to, give them a shout out. Uh, I want to say shout out to God first, you know, without him. Sure. Sure. A lot of, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. Yes, uh sir. I want to say my mom for always being there for me, you know, being my main support, always pushing me, uh, motivating me. I want to thank my coaches, Coach Rio, Coach Mo, Coach Don. Uh, I want to thank my teammates too for always like be the best player I can, uh, be the best leader I can, you know, uh, always showing me love and appreciation. And that's about it right there. Okay. Yeah. So what's next for you in regards to football? You know, what what's kind of coming up? I know high school and stuff starting up. Uh what what do you guys got coming up next? Uh right now we're in fall camp. Mm -hmm. Uh we got week one soon. We've been preparing for week one. We got Clearwater. Uh okay. very good team. Yeah, real good. Yeah, so we've been like uh Practicing, you know, preparing ourselves for that mentally, physically, you know, uh, and that's what we're doing right now. That's what we got going on. Okay. Where can people find you on social media? Go go ahead and plug your social media accounts. Okay. Uh, Instagram at D1 underscore dot Hector. Uh, Twitter at Hector Chavez 10 underscore. Uh, Snapchat. Uh, D1 underscore Hector, and that's about it right there. Okay, okay. Well, man, Hector, I got one last question for you, man, and I'll let you get on with your night. It's a question I ask every single person I bring on to this show, no matter, you know, recruit, coach, trainer, no matter what. I ask them the same question here, man. Sure. Why do you love the game of football? Where do you get that passion to go out and compete at such a high level on a weekly basis? Uh, I kind of wanted to be like a motivation to like a lot of kids in the hood. I was born and raised in the hood. You know, I didn't have much growing up. Uh, and I know it's a lot of kids going through that right now. So I kind of wanted to be like a motivation to them. Uh, you know, always remember that son you could do to help the family out. You know, uh, you gotta work hard. You know and. That won't make me love the game. So my I grew, I grew up playing the game. I grew up surrounded by the game, man. So all my life, I only had one goal: is to play football. You know, I love the game. I enjoy it. And that's it right now. I love that answer. Great answer, man. That's the well, Hector, man, I just want to thank you for taking this time out of your night to let fans get a little more familiar with you. I definitely want to stay in touch with you. You know, you got a couple of years left. You're 2025. 20, uh, yeah. You know, stay in touch, bring you back on in the future to talk about your recruitment, your development, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll definitely be watching out for you this season, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this upcoming season for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having, having me here too as well. Oh, no problem at all, man. It was an honor to have you on here, Hector. It truly was. You have yourself a good night, and like I said, we'll stay in touch and we'll get something planned for the future. But you go ahead and just get ready to kick some butt this season, all right? Yeah, you know it. Yes, sir. Let's do it.
All right, man. You have yourself a good night, Hector. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. All right, guys. That was 2025 linebacker Hector Chavez from Christopher Columbus High School in Florida. Like he said, he he speaks highly of the Canes, man. He knows that's a team that's on the come up, and I feel that they're on the come up as well. Um, being a Canes fan, I might be a little biased on that, but hey, you know, that happens sometimes. But thank you guys for joining us for this interview. It was another RNG recruit interview. It was Hector Chavez, 2025 linebacker from Columbus High School in Florida. Hope you guys have a fantastic night, and we'll catch you soon. we got more interviews coming this week soon. Talk to you soon.